Hi there, um, this is John Rose in Sydney, Australia, and I'm going to show you one aspect of the Cabo, um, which is not this. This is a rather cheap and nasty regular plain vanilla violin bow. Um, but as with all bows, it makes some very nice sounds. I will uh, show you. Actually, we can make this sound a lot better by standing up. A slightly violent sound, I have to admit, but remember the bow once was a weapon. Anyway, here is the K bow, and um, let's see what we can do with the sound of a bow swishing. I've already made a sample of that swish and put it in the phase vocoder. And there are two, you see, two slots for the phase vocoder. And uh, let's look at the modulation that we've got on the first slot. A grip pressure. So if I apply pressure to the grip of the bow, this acts as a simple on-off switch. And in this case, it switches the transport on, and you hear the sample being played. I've taken the accelerometers, which are placed in the frog of the bow, and I'm going to use them basically to control the sound of that sample. The X accelerometer is uh, changing the pitch. The Y accelerometer is changing the speed. The Z accelerometer, the pan. Z being, in American English, Z. So, um, the Z accelerometer uh, for the pan. And there's a double grip um, action at the end to stop the transport. Now, on the second sample, I've got the double click starting the transport, starting that second loop. So ideally, if it all works, and uh, <clears throat> as the French say, that's all very well in practice, but will it work in theory? Um, when I double click to stop the first sample, the double click should cause the second sample to start. And I've changed the parameters of the second sample in that I have the accelerometers performing slightly different tasks. So there should be a nice counterpoint between the two. Well, let's see if it works. So far, so good. You can see that by uh, twisting the bow, you can you can change the transport from going in a forward direction to a reverse direction. As you can hear, the violin bow has certain asthmatic qualities. It sounds rather like somebody dying. A very painful and slow death from lack of air. So as you can see, I've double pressed, double squeezed, double clicked, whatever you want to call it. And now we've got the second sample running, which has a lot more space between the asthmatic gasps. Now if I press the bow again, I'm going to start the first sample as well.
Thank you. 